Today we're going to see if we can add some flash memory space back to Arduino Nanos that are using either the old or the new bootloader. In a previous video I showed you how it's possible to upgrade your bootloader on Arduino Nano clones from the old bootloader to the new OptiBoot version. If you haven't checked out that video yet, see the link in the description below. It's one of the more popular videos on this channel. And if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please hit that subscribe and drop a comment down below. It really helps me out. Even on a genuine Arduino Nano, the way it's set up on the boards.txt, you are still not getting the extra space from the smaller bootloader. So let's see why. First, we'll go to the File menu, Preferences, and click on the Preferences link at the bottom, which will bring us to the folder where Arduino keeps most of its setting files. We'll go into Packages, Arduino, Hardware, AVR, your Arduino version, and this boards.txt. Now I'm going to open two copies of it so we can look side by side. We'll search here for the UNO, which is also the AT Mega 328. And on this side, we will find our Nano. Now you can see, you can see in mind, this is where I commented out the old bootloader in favor of the new bootloader. And if we look at the rest of the settings between the two boards, you'll notice for the Nano, the maximum upload size is 3720. And that's for both the old and the new boot bootloader. And if we look at the Uno, which uses the same 18 mega 328p chip, the maximum size is 32,256. And that extra 1500, 1500 bytes or so difference is the bootloader. But why? If we're still using OptiBoot in both versions, why are we losing the space on the Nano? And the reason is the difference in the fuse settings. The Uno High Fuse is set to DE in hex, while the Nanos are set to DA. And that's the same whether you're using OptiBoot or the old bootloader. Now, this seems like a silly part on Arduino side. What this does, if we look at a fuse calculator, is DA on the nanos sets the bootloader size using a value of DE, both of these boot bits are unprogrammed. This tells the AT Mega chip that it will use the 512 byte version of a bootloader, while with the nano, it's going to take a 2K bootloader, even though OptiBoot itself is still just the 512. So we're basically losing that space to nothingness just by a setting in the Arduino boot boards text file. So we're going to try this today and we're going to run an example to see if it worked by making these values match. So first let's do a test at the current settings and see if we can max out the memory in this sketch. And we'll do this in the dumbest way I can think of by just printing I don't know, 30,000 characters in a string. So we'll do serial begin 5 to 100. And then here we will just print a giant string, but we will save that string not as a variable in RAM, but instead directly into the flash. And we do that by serial print. The F macro will save the string to follow in the flash memory instead of as a variable from RAM and pulling it from memory. So here we'll just use a text generator to generate 30K worth of characters. 3720 is the maximum size for the Arduino Nano in its default form. We'll have to trim some out of this because the serial statements are also taking up some of that memory. So let's see, we'll call this default memory test. And we can see we're exceeding, Sketch uses 32,188, and we are only allowed 3720. So let's shave off the additional characters and try again. Figure out what we need to shave off.
So we should need 29,252 in the character generator. The rest of the space is being taken up by, the rest of the space is being used by the serial commands. So we'll just replace this with the new, build it again. And we can see our sketch successfully built. It's using 100% of the programming space, 3720. The maximum is 3720. And if we run this on our nano, we should see it print these nonsense characters over and over and over again. Great. We can also use the fuse byte sketch from Bill Westfield to verify what our current settings are. Link to fuse bytes in the description down below. Just open up the serial monitor, set your baud rate to 19200, and it will print out the current fuse settings. So we can see we are still on DA. We'll go back to our boards text. We'll change the nanos to match the DE value of the Uno. We'll change it for Bolt so that if we ever upgrade a bootloader in the future, we already have these settings made for the old bootloader. We'll also need to change the maximum size to 32 to 56. And the rest stays the same. After making the changes to our boards.txt file and reloading the Arduino IDE, we now need to reload the bootloader to the chip, same way we did it last time. The only way to set the fuses is to use the in-circuit programming header. So we'll hook up our two nanos like last time. For your programmer side, you can use any other Arduino that you have laying around. Just make sure you match the correct wiring pins. Then we'll open the Arduino ISP sketch, load that to our programmer. We'll go to the tools menu, change our programmer to Arduino as ISP. Make sure you select Arduino as ISP and not Arduino ISP. And then we can go back and hit burn bootloader. Now that we're complete, we can switch our USB cable back to the original board that we just updated. But before we give this a try, let's load the fuse byte sketch one more time to check that the settings actually worked. We'll need to change our programmer back to the original since we're not using the Arduino as an ISP any longer. Checking the output from fuse bytes in our terminal window, we can see fuse high is now set to DE, which is exactly what we wanted. So now we'll go back to the code and add in the additional characters to max out the memory and see if it still works. So we'll go back to the text generator. Before, we used 29252 as the number of characters to generate. And we know that the difference that we gained by making the fuse change is 1,536 bytes. So we'll add that to the text generator and generate 30,788 characters. We'll just verify it first. And if our math is right, we should see 100% of the space taken at the new size. And here we go. Sketch uses 32,256 bytes, 100% of the programming space. If we upload this to the board, we're expecting it to still print to the terminal. So you can see after our change, we were successfully able to upload the full memory stack, 32,256 bytes of flash verified. And if we open up our 
serial monitor, we still see our new giant string printing over and over. If the fuse bits were not set correctly, this verification step would have failed because when it tried to write into that extra space, the bootloader would have stopped it. So you can see using this method, we were able to add about 1.5K of space for those really large sketches. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next one.